everybody, it's ALB in Whisperland here. In today's video, it's gonna be another unboxing because a lot of you had mentioned that you like those types of videos a lot. And yeah, this one is going to be from a company called Munchpack. And they had messaged me and asked me if they could send a box of their snacks my way to try out. So they are a monthly subscription box service and this video is kind of going to be a review. So the box arrived just like this and it's it's quite big so I can't really show the whole thing. But it's a square box. And you can see it says Munch Pack on the side. And the fun thing about Munch Pack is they send you snacks from all different cultures all over the world. opened this box, but I haven't gotten into it at all yet. I haven't really taken much of a look through. I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. So, let's look through it together. The first thing that you get in this box is this little flyer, and it says, what's inside? Before you dig in, read about what you received in this month's box. And I was hoping that this would, you know, in some way leave detailed instruction as to what the snacks in the box were and what the ingredients were. But basically, they ask you to visit the website. And I think that that's so far... My biggest criticism with this is that, um, I'll show you. When you pull up the website, I have it on my phone here. Basically, the website listed gives you, um, a directory of their snacks. And then you have to type in what you're looking for in the search to look it up. And I think it would be more convenient and helpful if, you know, it showed specifically only the items that you have. But, you know, it's not, it's not the worst thing, but I can see it being inconvenient if you didn't have access to your phone at the time you were opening it. Because, you know, some people have food allergies and things and they need to know what's inside. So, yeah, that's, it's okay, but it's a little annoying to me, <laughs> but not a huge annoyance. So, in the last unboxing video, some of you mentioned that you wanted me to try a couple of the items and that you wished I had. So I'm going to do that today with just a couple of the things that look the yummiest to me. But I'll do that at the end because some people specifically don't like eating noises and some of you do so <laughs> to try and balance that I'm gonna try a few things at the end there's actually quite a few things in this box so I couldn't possibly try them all tonight <laughs> the first item is I think it's Grisky, <laughs> and it has peanuts on the cover here, and they feel like they're some kind of wafer or pretzel. So 
so there is all of the um, information on the back, which is good. It says filled salty pastry. This product may contain sesame. And that is a product of Serbia, it says. Oh, cool. I don't know, maybe you have these where you live. I know I have followers all over the world, and that's so cool. So maybe, maybe some of you will recognize this. It looks pretty yummy to me, though. I like, I like, I like salty foods, so maybe that will be one of the ones that I try. This is a very big bag, as you can see. And it's either a gusto or gusto. But we have these here in Canada, except they're not called gusto or gusto. They're called cheesies, I can just tell. Let's see. Oh, this one on the back doesn't say specifically where they're from. Oh, product of Romania. I missed it. Romania. Hmm. Very cool. I think I, I think I might try these. Just to see if they taste similarly to cheesies here. Sometimes when I eat cheesies, I eat them with chopsticks so that I don't get any of the cheese dust on my fingers. <laughs> it looks really goofy, but it totally works. The next item is salt and vinegar hula hoop. And these are totally up my alley. We have something similar to this in Canada. And I think probably the US as well. Not sure where these are from. Well, made in the UK. These look super yummy. Salt and vinegar is a really good flavor. I recently read somewhere that um, Canada has some of the most, uh, like the largest variety of potato chips in the world. And I have only been traveling in North America, so I don't know outside of that, but from my experiences, that has been true so far. Next, hmm, we have Sunfat. Is it Sunfat? Is that what that says? Well, I think so. Hello Bear chocolate flavor biscuits. Crispy biscuit, soft chocolate flavor. So it looks like there are these little biscuits here and then they have chocolate on the inside, like gooey chocolate. I don't know that I would like these ones too much. Where are they from? I don't know. Oh, maybe they're from California. Maybe these are from the States. Yeah, I don't know that I would like these ones too much, but I'm willing to give them a shot, of course.
gosh, there's quite a few things in here. This is a Tortica bar, I think. And where this is not in English. Where are you from? I don't know because it's not in English. <laughs> Somewhere where they would not print in English is where this is from. That's the extent of the information I can provide you. But this looks good to me. It's like, it seems like it's like a wafer on the inside. I'm sure a whole bunch of you are recognizing some of these. It has like a really nice feeling packaging, to be honest. It's like that more kind of papery plastic. Does that make sense? Like compared to something like this. It feels like just regular cheap potato chip packaging. And this is like more papery, I guess. I'm really interested in trying this one. One thing I will say about the Munch Pack boxes is they give you a lot of things to try. This is Japanese rice crackers. It has a little bear, look at his face. <laughs> He's like ready to eat. These look really good to me too, actually. They're like these tiny crackers and they have little bubbles. I wonder if they're more sweet. Like, when I think of a rice cracker, I think of salty, but it says that they have honey in them. The flavor is bourbon. That's funny. Yeah. I usually think of rice crackers as salty, but it, I think that these might be sweet, actually. Hmm. This is a Kinder Country Bar. And we have Kinder products here, too, but this one is not in English. Yeah, it's not in English. I'm not sure where it's from. I bet if, if this is where you're from, you're just sitting there like, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't recognize them. I hope that... I hope that I like this. I think it has hazelnuts in it. I really like hazelnuts, so... Gosh, I wasn't expecting to be so interested in trying so many of these. Like, of course I'm going to try all of them, but, you know, some of them I expected to just be more interested in. This... I'm probably going to butcher this. It's either Nusita or Nukit... Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll go with Nusita Barita. So, some kind of bar, candy bar. Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry candy bar. Interesting. Where is this from? Made in Mexico. It's got a little dinosaur on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it would bend. <laughs> so this doesn't bend. In case you were curious. And I don't know if I'm going to like this one, but I'm going to try it. Interesting. Oh, this is a big one. Raspberry European biscuits. These look yummy. Delici. I don't know if I pronounced that right. We have cookies like this in North America too. I wonder if they taste the same though. I usually put 
and this might be kind of weird. I usually put these types of cookies with like hard chocolate. I usually put them in the freezer. <laughs> and like that might sound weird, but I really like my chocolate cold. I always put my chocolate bars in the freezer too. It's just like, I'm not a super big chocolate person, but I really like orange chocolate. And whenever I have chocolate, I put it in the freezer. <laughs> I don't know why, it just, it, it, it's nicer, it has like a different texture, I don't know, I just really like it. So whenever I have cookies that have like hard chocolate, I always put them in the freezer too. I'll probably do that with these. Quite a few left. This is a toffee crisp bar produced by Nestle. Crispy crunch chewy munch. Hmm. In Canada we have a bar called Coffee Crisp. I wonder if it's gonna be similar. This is another one that would probably go in the freezer too. from the UK. Interesting. Yeah, I'm interested to know if this tastes anything like Coffee Crisp. I think Coffee Crisp is a Nestle bar too. Ooh, this one's squishy. It's like gooey. <laughs> yeah, this one would definitely go in the freezer. Do any of you do that too? Am I just weird? I'm probably just weird. We have this Cadbury twirl bar. Milk chocolate finger. Milk chocolate finger. Okay. All right. And they're from the UK as well. Birmingham. Oh, Ireland. Made by Cadbury, Ireland. Very cool. I wonder, it's just milk chocolate? There's no other flavor. Hmm. That might be kind of nice, actually. You know what? I kind of like this size, too. Because, like, usually I can't even finish a chocolate bar. It's nice to have just something small like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one looks so cool. Wow, so this one obviously isn't in English as well, so I can't read it, but... Oh, there's nothing on it. Hmm. I think that this might be possibly a green tea flavored something, or... I don't know. It's some kind of bar that has wafer in it. We know that it's green. <laughs> it's just a green bar, that's all we know. <laughs> I don't I wonder if I'm feeling adventurous. I think it's some kind of chocolate though. That's what I think. Hmm. Might have to look that one up online before I try it. And the last one, a curly whirly bar. <laughs> I've actually had one of these before. And I really I liked it. A lot when I had it. Um, a friend had sent it to me. There's a lot of not English on here as well. Oh, there's English under here. Milk chocolate with caramel center. It says that these are from Bir Birmingham too. Squishy. <laughs> I remember really liking the texture of this, because like so kind of swirls of, of um, caramel with like chocolate on top. I remember it feeling like more delicate than just a regular chocolate bar. Hmm. 
So that's the whole box. Like I said, my impressions are of this box versus other ones that we've tried. I like that they give you such a big variety of, of foods and um, they give you like a decent amount of each food. Like not just a tiny little sample like some boxes do. Um, but I wish that they had like a personalized like flyer that told you all about all of the different foods. and. Maybe they'll start doing that in the future, I don't know. But that would be helpful to me as, as a consumer. Okay, so let's, let's try a couple of these. I think we should try... Hmm. Let's try these rice cakes, because I'm really curious. I have a pair of scissors. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. Look at how small they are. They're so wee. Okay, I'm gonna try one. these. That was a very weird selection of, it was like, it was like kind of sweet, but kind of, like it reminded me kind of of, um, caramel popcorn, I think, with soy sauce, somehow. Don't ask me how, it just also tastes like it has soy sauce. Those were interesting, though. I'm glad they weren't too, too sweet. But those are interesting. I would eat more of those. They're kind of weird, but good, you know? Hmm. Let's try these. Because I'm really, really curious. Gosh, there's already crumbs coming out. So inside there's like all these small sticks. Are they just pretzels? I think they're just pretzels. Maybe they're like peanut flavored. Mmm. I actually really like these. They kind of... Hmm. They kind of remind me of, like, the flavor of Pocky with no... Like, with no chocolate dip on it. But they're not as salty as regular pretzels. Hmm. These are good. I think that these would be really good with like hummus or something. You can definitely taste the peanut too. Like it's really, it's really strong. And I like that there's no like pieces of salt or anything on it. Cause that's one thing that I don't usually like about pretzels. It's like how salty they are. Yeah, they kind of taste like a little bit more salty version of the stick that the Pocky's on. Hmm. These would be really good with like some kind of, some kind of dip, like hummus or something. Mmm, those are really good. Mmm, I really have to. I'm so sorry. We have to try these. I am desperate to know if they taste like regular cheesies. Kind of see. 
Well, they look different than our cheesies. They don't have, like, the cheese coating on them. Let's try. Hmm. Those were only okay. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of, I guess, right. They taste just like cheesies without any of the the actual cheese flavoring on them, like the cheese dust. <laughs> so they kind of taste really plain, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm going to eat the rest of them. I'm only human. <laughs> but these ones are not my favorite. They don't have enough flavor, you know? Okay, let's... Let's try one more. Okay, let's let's do this one, because this is the one I'm most interested in. This is the Kinder Country Bar. And I usually really like these kinds of bars, so... Let's try it. Oh my god. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, that was the winner right there. I don't know how to explain this, but like, it tastes like Kinder Eggs, but it has like rice puffs in it. I don't know why I thought those were hazelnuts, but they're rice puffs. And it's like, it's like if someone made a Kinder Surprise Egg, like all light and fluffy and delicious. Oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite of everything that came and it's so small, I wish it was bigger. <laughs> That was delicious. Wow, my goodness. Well, this has been really fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you guys think about the eating sounds and stuff like that. I was kind of nervous to do it, but so many of you are asking about that. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And I'll see you soon. Bye.